everybody, welcome back to FIFA 18. Um, today, which is um, what, Tuesday the 29th of May, uh, FIFA have, or FIFA 18 have given out the free update for the FIFA World Cup Russia. I thought we might as well play it, see how it is. Um, let's do the FIFA 2018 World Cup Russia. So I guess this is where we choose what team we want to be, right? Um, I guess England is going to be the team I'm going to be, isn't it? Because I am English. Um, best result winner, 1966. Oh, those are the days. Um, who knows, maybe if I enjoy this, I'll play as a different team as well. See how we do. But um, for now, I'm going to be England. It's nice to see that everything has the, obviously, all the correct... Um, stuff on it, you know, quick kits and everything, that's cool. Let's select England and advance with the tournament battle. Okay. Okay. FIFA World Cup 1. There we go. Right. Okay, we've already had some games apparently. Uh, Spain victorious over rivals. Um, can we have a look and see the results? Just apparently the standings. Oh no, here we go. So, Russia beat Saudi Arabia. Okay. Egypt drew Uruguay, yeah you can see that, Iran beat Morocco, Spain beat Portugal, France beat Australia, Denmark beat Peru, Argentina drew with Iceland, that's pretty amazing, um, Croatia beat Nigeria 3-0, uh, Brazil won 3-1 against Switzerland, Costa Rica won 2-0 against Serbia, Germany won 2-0 against Mexico, that's what we've had so far, okay, so I guess the squad they've had to just go with let's have a look oh bloody hell okay so that's like a massively extended squad <laughs> Winx doesn't even have a picture that's interesting um, so we know the England squad is um, no Wiltshire no Lalana. in it, Welbeck's in it, Shaw's not in it, and yeah, basically none of these guys down here are in it. No Townsend, no Sturridge. Interesting. Very interesting. So, um, and interesting that they've made a lot of them wing backs as well. Because they're, I guess, saying that England are going to play like this with... It's actually probably quite realistic. I don't think we'd play with Rashford up there. I think we'd probably pay with like sterling um i think um i think england they can play with like one i think if i was england manager i would which i guess i am for the sake of this video i don't think i'd play five at the back um personally i don't think that suits us um I think three at the back would suit us either. I think we'd, we'd need to play four at the back, and we need to play one up front, with, which would be Harry Kane. And yeah, I'd probably do something like this. Um, and then we'd have like Ali, and then we'd have Sterling. I think on the right. Uh, there's Sterling. We'd have Kane obviously at the top. Um, I guess Dyer and Henderson there. Rose, obviously we'd go at the back there, Maguire, he'd be the one I'd take off there, um, then we'd probably have like, the sake of it, Lallana, um, so where's my, why can't I, I mean I'd choose Rashford out of those, but, oh do I get to choose like my, this reserves okay yeah for sure uh, I'd probably pay like um, Lingard uh, yeah, Lana would be a good choice as well I'd choose Cahill over Keen. I mean Smalley obviously is not fancied at all is he uh, Jones and Stones I'd, I'd play Stones yeah uh, 
don't know who I'd play over Jones and Cahill, to be honest with you, they're both a bit shit, aren't they? Let's face it. I definitely 100% would not have Joe Hart in goal. I wouldn't have him anywhere near the bloody squad, um, personally. Uh, let's see, Oxlade Chamberlain, I'd probably play it instead of like a, um, a Dyer or possibly a Henderson if I wanted to be a bit more attacking. Um, I guess Alana's that option as well, though they're very similar, aren't they? Chamberlain's got a bit more pace about him, so I'd probably go with Chamberlain. Vardy would obviously be like the second striker. Um, you know, you you choose after Kane. After I mean, if it wasn't for Vardy, I mean, uh, uh, technically Sturridge would be a good choice, but like in real life, Sturridge is not a good choice. Um, so yeah. So we go, like, I guess Rashford as well would be a, a, the choice. Uh, we'd probably go like that. Make uh, a Walker as an attacking midfielder. I don't, I don't think I'd play Park. I'd probably play Walcott because of the pace. Um, I'd have him in over Wilshire. Uh, wouldn't have two centre. We need two centre backs. Bring Lallana back because Lallana could offer you something in midfield here. Dyer's like I'd possibly go Lalana over Henderson, or possibly go Oxlade Chamberlain. I'd try, I think I'm gonna try Lalana, and then I think for a role type situation, I'd go um, or instructions. Sorry, I'd tell Dyer to stay back. Uh, Lalana, I'd, I'd say to get forward. Um, yeah, definitely get in the box for Ali. Um, Sterling, I'd give like a free roam. Kane, um, he's more of a target man, isn't he? I think. And I'd definitely get these guys to overlap for sure. I want to get those crosses in. Yeah, okay, right, I think we're probably all right with there. Uh, so I'm guessing I can just choose from these options, like at any point, which is obviously not how the World Cup works, but what the hell. Um, awesome, okay, so we play Tunisia, which is obviously these are the real matches as well that you play. Um, let's, uh, what setting have I got this on first off? This is gonna look okay, on legendary. Okay, so this is exactly as I play um, on uh, my career mode. This should be interesting. Can I beat Tunisia? <laughs> God, this could be bad. I mean, this could be exactly how England are, to be fair. Probably not very good. Um, it's nice, it's nicely presented, isn't it? I'll give you that much. And considering it's free, like in the past, they've charged for this shit, so. Probably found that no one was buying it, so they just updated it. I figured they'd make the money on the uh, uh, ultimate team, I guess. So thanks for those of you who spend loads of money on ultimate team because you paid for me to get this for free, effectively. Uh, appreciate that. Tunisia, I couldn't really tell you much about their side. Um, I think they got like, is it sal salami or like <laughs> salami? Salami or something like that up front. I don't even know if he is. Let's have a look and see if I recognise any of their team. Uh, okay, no, they don't. Abdenor, I remember him. I can't remember who he plays for, but someone. So otherwise, don't really recognise their team. Come on, England. Um. As far as, like, in real life, what I think of England's prospects in the World Cup, not particularly great, <laughs> I think. Um, I actually think, like, the good thing is about England at the minute is there's not really a lot of expectation going around. We have probably the most boring team we've had in years, which is funny because we've probably got... Um, we've got some really good attacking players. Oh, 
Oh, that's a great run. Oh, that's a great tackle. We have got some fantastic like attacking players. If you think of the form Sterling's been in this year for um, Man City, this form that Harry Kane's been in for about the last three years. Um, you know, Rashford's kind of popped on the scene. You've got um, uh, Jesse Lingard obviously doing very well. Like we, We've got some good players. Obviously, the, the, the problem is if you turn around and said, like, how many world-class players have we got? You'd probably say one, Harry Kane. Denny Alley, I think, could be world-class one day. I don't think he's quite there yet. Um, but he's getting there. Um, and the Kane-Alley combo, you know, could be pretty good. But in some ways, it might work to advantage because we might not be trying to do anything too fancy and instead of like oh 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 unlucky Kane unlucky you know and, and never underestimate the like impact having a world class striker can have like you know it, it has a big effect you know if we are creating those half chances and Kane can put them away you never know <laughs> like you really never know I, I think Defensively, though, we're, we're pretty weak. I think the goalkeeper is weak as well. Whether it's... Oh, one goal, Alana. Um, Whether it's Butler or Pickford, I don't know which one is going to have put in there. Um, you would imagine it's not going to be Pope, but... Um, I, I think there's a possible weakness. Not a Loris Carrier's weakness, perhaps, but... Um, a weakness. Um... And, yeah, I, I don't know, it's, it's a tough one. I think if we play to our strengths, which is Kane and Sterling, who I think are, I think you could probably count Sterling as world-class with the seasons he, he's had. Um, like, I know, like, when you look at his results, I, can, I think he's in double figures for goals and assists this season, which is, like, phenomenal. Um, He scored a lot of goals. I know perhaps that was more at the beginning of the season and or like the mid beginning of the season and it perhaps died off a little bit. But I think he's still doing well. Um I would have been happy if we'd had like Oxlade Chamberlain and Lana in the squad personally. I think there's a problem with midfield. Um, creativity wise with Henderson and Dyer. Um, but yeah, you know, we've got really good fullbacks. I guess Carl Walker, you could argue, is probably one of our best players. Um, like, I think he's as good as any right back out there, personally, right now. Um, the, the question is whether we even play him at right back. There's, there's reports that we're going to be, you know, playing him in um, ooh, the kind of right side of a, a, a three, which. I think negates a lot of his like attacking ability. Ooh, if that was Kane there, I swear that was a goal. Um, but um, yeah, I don't know. It could be. It could be interesting. England's problem um, the last few years, I think, has just been like we've not really played to our strength. We've tried to emulate other countries. Uh, in so much as you either tried to play a passing game or, you know, whatever is kind of out there, whether it's like Germany doing well. Ooh, unlucky. You know, or Spain or Brazil. Like, we've always tried to kind of emulate that top team um, instead of just playing our way, you know, and, and having a national identity. And I think Southgate's started to work on that a little bit. Yes, get in, Harry Kane, that Ali Kane combo. Dunk. Um, yeah, I think he's, he's started to work on that a little bit. and We've looked okay. Like, I'd say we look okay. We look like we shouldn't embarrass ourselves. And that's where the problems come, I think, is where... Like perhaps psychologically there's been a lot of pressure on England and I think perhaps this year there's not as much pressure no one's going there thinking 
wow, we've got the players to win this. We know we don't have a golden generation right now. Um, but, you know, if we can go there, and perhaps, like for England, I think right now, quarterfinals is a massive success. Star of the 
show is kind of set before anyway. The problem is if I swing it across for anyone other than Kane, most of the England team are midgets. So there's not a lot of choice there. Harry Kane, of course, is going to be captain as well. Uh, in England, we make way too much of a fuss about who is captain of the national team. Like in other countries, it's really not that much of an issue. Um, whereas we kind of, I don't know, there's always a big, like, who are about it. But I think everyone's just like, yeah, fine, Harry Kane. Whatever, who else would it be? Jordan Henderson, maybe. Yeah, maybe. People seem to really dislike Jordan Henderson for whatever reason. I think he's a fine player. Like, I think he's a good player. Like, he's obviously a little bit more defensive. But, I mean, that's his role at Liverpool, isn't it? Because at the end of the day, that's what he has to do. He's got Mane, Salah, um, and Firmino. Oh, it's Harry Kane. Jesus Christ, I should sign this guy. He might be a bit good, you know, Harry Kane. Is that his hat trick also? Uh, yeah, let's bring on Henderson for Lana. Look at that finish. That's quality. Four goals in one match of Harry Kane. I think we're going to win the World Cup, guys. I can see it happening. I'm getting hyped already. England are going to win the World Cup. It's going to happen. It's, it's not going to happen, guys. Um, I don't know who I would tip. I was thinking about this today. choice is always Germany. <laughs> if in doubt, it's Germany. Um, but I, d I don't know, I feel like this might be, although it suits European teams because it's in a you know, European climate, the, the heat of Brazil you know, made a lot of teams wilt. I mean, not Germany, because of course they won it, but um, you know, if I was to say the main contenders, shall we say, you'd have to say Germany would be up there. Um, alongside uh, Brazil. Brazil, good, good side. France, very, very good side. I, My problem with France is Didier Deschamps. I genuinely don't think he's a very good manager. Um, and I think that will hurt them. in the end um, tactically I, I think they'll get it wrong but I think on paper they have probably the strongest team at the tournament they have just an absolute beast of a team uh, the players they left out kind of you know a testament to that no Giroud who you know okay he's not at his best but he's pretty good um, I can't even remember who else they left out I remember being astonished though same with like Spain as well you know Spain left out a lot Spain are obviously right up there um, Argentina have to say as well um, uh, with their front line it, it's scary I think their defense will let them down ultimately um, but if they can find a way to, to get that forward line firing then that is some serious firepower right there um, we'll see you know but yeah I think I think it will be a Spain Germany kind of like one of those two probably um, my preference of the two would be Spain. Just I don't know, it's just an English thing to hate Germany, isn't it? Spain generally pay the better football, don't they? But we'll see how they kind of go about. I mean, they've lost some of their players. I don't know if Iniesta's going to be in there actually. Oh, ref! That was a that was a cheeky one. To bring on the ox for Sterling. Uh, remember at the last World Cup when Harry Kane was taking corners? Yeah, that was a joke, wasn't it? Uh, Eric Dyer apparently is our, our best bet. Because that shit wasn't far away. Never had Eric Dyer down as being uh, England's main uh, free kick taker. Gone are the days of David Beckham, eh? I watched the other day the, um, the free kick David Beckham scored against Greece. I don't know if there's been a more perfect moment. <laughs> oh, come on, ref. I mean, if you don't know the story of that, basically England, I think we were losing to Greece, and we had to draw or win to get to the 
World Cup. And uh, it was in stoppage time, I think, or very close to the end of the match anyway. And we were losing, obviously, because we were England. Um, and there's a free kick like, outside the area. I think it was Sheringham who got taken down. Um, and uh, David Beckham steps up. It's quite a long way out. And the, and the commentator's like, oh, well, David Beckham fancy himself you know, for this right now. You know, how's this going to go? Um, okay. Belgium, Panama. 3-0 Belgium. Yeah, not surprising. Belgium have got a good squad. Um, we get to play Panama now. Oh, everyone's suddenly fit again. Interesting. Uh, let's give Pickford a go. After the uh, bad error from uh, Thingy Butland. Uh, yeah, anyway, David Beckham steps up. Curls one right in the top left corner. Keeper just stands there and it's just the perfect moment, you know. Um, summed up David Beckham as well, who I always felt was a very, very underrated player. I know that sounds weird because everyone thinks David Beckham is this, like, um, I just know David Beckham, is, but I think he's more known for his stuff outside of football. But he was a really good player for England as well. There was not a player I've ever seen in my life who gave more in a football match than him. He would run himself ragged. Like... Kane. Okay. Um, you know, he... You know, he led by example. Definitely, he was very good. Um, you know, let himself down a couple of times with the whole kicking out against Diego Simeone, etc. But there was really a player who I saw try as hard as he did in an England shirt. You could see how much it made to him and you know he had over a hundred caps in the end. Um rightly so. Um and was captain for a lot of games. I don't know how many. Shot a little bit, definitely. We 
need some numbers up here. Because they are, like, very defensive. We can get a goal, though. I'll, uh, same way as in all, all my FIFA games with Crystal Palace. We get the first goal. It changes the game. End up winning quite easy. It's, it's, if we don't get that goal, that's or sometimes the second goal. Sometimes we go one nil up and then I just muck around for a bit and then they end up scoring and I'm like, oh shit, it's one one. We ended up destroying that game. We like absolutely dominated. What was that? Huh. He just ran away from the ball. Come on, stones. That's it. Nice.
and just see. Don't panic. You get the gold, Jamie Vardy. <laughs> nice celebration, I'll give you that. Okay, right. Let's concentrate on getting another goal. But that has always kind of been England's problem. You look at the Iceland game. Like we go one 0 down, we just kind of panic. You know, you don't have to score straight away. You know, if you dominate the match, you dominate the match. You know, if they get a lucky goal, they get a lucky goal. But we just panic all the time. That's the problem. Game management is not good. And you look at these players like, uh, you know, real life like Sterling for Man City. He's never panic. Never panics if Man City go a goal down. It doesn't very rarely happen, to be fair. But you know, it's just weird. Like, they put an England shirt. And uh, all of a sudden, they have the fear of God in them, I guess. Thinking about what the paper's going to say the next day. All that malarkey. Oh, Jamie Vardy's having a party. No, it was Harry Kane, sorry. Apologies. Was it Vardy across? I think Vardy had something. I think it was Vardy across it in. There we go. That's better. 11 minutes after half time, we are winning again. Here comes Alana. Oh, that big number five, the bait of my existence. Absolutely. Go, Harry Kane. Oh, that might be over. No, it's a fucking awesome penalty. <laughs> and here we go, England, going through. Just keeping their cool. It's like changing personnel, it's changing uh, tactics. England are going out, are coming out of the group stage, and all we can really do is probably. I don't know, actually, maybe get a win against Belgium <laughs> and we progress. I don't know, it depends on what the. Not progress, but like win the group, shall we say. The top two go through, so we should be fine anyway. to have a team again where we have someone like Paul Scholes or uh, the likes of that, you know, even that Stephen Gerrard, Frank Lampard. Yeah, you know, our midfield looks very ordinary compared to those days. But to be fair, we didn't really think back then when we had those players, so <laughs> it's not like, you know, we're really missing out on that much, is it? Pretty good. 
good Vardy, isn't he? He's pretty quick. I guess that gives him edge over Kane there. I might go 4-4-2 next match. We'll see. I guess like Rashford or Vardy might be a, an option. Especially if we want to counter-attack against Belgium. That big number five again, Torres. Damn it. It's difficult to see there with the... Uh, so are these all the stadiums as well? I guess they are the actual stadiums. That's pretty cool. Okay. That's probably a lot wider than it actually looked there. Midfield looks so short, doesn't it? It really does. I think he might be offside. Yep. <laughs> Again with his muddy elbows. For those of you who don't know, it's such an interesting story. Like, he came from non league football. Um, non league is basically like four leagues down, it's like amateur football. Like, you get paid like 20 quid or something like that. Also, Belgium have got better goal difference than us, so we have to get we have to beat Belgium to win the group. I'm gonna go 4 4 2. I think that worked out well for us. Um, we put Sterling on the right. Uh, is it bit Lallana or Lingard? Lingard's got the pace, so I'm going to go Lingard. And then we leave Dyer in midfield. Henderson's on the bench. And I guess we put Vardy. Vardy did well, so... Um, and then instructions, we get Dyer to... Uh, no. Stay back. And Ali, get forward. There we go. And actually, sorry, just want the instructions to be Vardy getting behind. There we go. Harry Kane's top goal scorer. Egypt uh, beat Saudi, uh, Saudi Arabia 1 0. Let's have a look at the groups and see how the teams are doing actually at this stage with the last ones. Uruguay top there to play for though for the second place um, Spain yeah you would imagine that Portugal Iran is uh, Iran drew with Spain and Portugal and beat um, Mallorca so they're through uh, oh sorry so, yeah these are actually results now so we've got Uruguay Russia Spain Iran France Denmark these are probably as you would expect to be fair 
no, Brazil, Switzerland, yeah, Germany, South Korea, um, Colombia, Poland, yeah, that's, this is probably as you would expect so far. I guess we'll just see what happens in this group now. I'm not too keen on this Spain kit, but each to their own. England kits are usually pretty boring, so, you know, it's good to see something a bit different, I guess. Let's go. Kevin De Bruyne. I mean, Belgium are a really good side. Really, really good. By the way, we don't get any of the little mini games. We just go straight into it. This is going to be a massive game for England. I just want to have a look at the Belgian side they're actually putting out. Um, they've got Lukaku, Mertens, Hazard, Jesus Christ, Chadley, Witzel, De Bruyne, Carrasco, Vertonghen, Alderweireld, Company, Courtois. That is a team and a half, isn't it? I mean, sure, you could say perhaps Carrasco and Chadley are perhaps not the the greatest, um, you know, but the rest of the team is pretty much world class there. Uh, this is going to be a tough, tough match. But I always usually play well against good teams, though, I will say that much, so. Um, because they generally attack me more, and um, then I can counter attack. Here comes Vardy. And there's company. <laughs> De Bruyne. He's such a good player. Come on, Walker. Ah. Oh, needed to slay that off a little bit quicker. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. Yeah, Belgium have just got fantastic players everywhere. Amazing, really, for such a small country. Like, this is their golden generation. And, I mean, I know I've talked about, like, the, the, you know, the usual big teams, the Germany, Brazils, Spain, France, all that. But, you know, I kind of, if England don't win it, which they won't, I'd be rooting for Belgium, I think. Because um, it'd be good to see like such a small country do so well and also for a, a country which has such a golden generation to actually produce something you know that would be fantastic I, I don't know why I didn't pass where I wanted him to there um, so yeah I'd be cheering on for um, Belgium definitely and because I got Christine Benteke in their squad as well amazingly all these fantastic players and they still pick Christine Benteke didn't pick Nijngolin Still quick picked. Oh, oh, great save. Just, yeah, didn't pick Nyngolin. Still pick Christian Benteke. Belgium know where the uh, quality is, don't they? <laughs> no, re in reality, Nyngolin just uh, Roberto. I mean, that's the one thing I think which is going to count against Belgium is the fact that Roberto Martinez is their manager, and he's just not a very good manager, as much as you want to say. There's a chance. That's in. It's Jamie Vardy. He's having a party. He's having a party. Oh, yes, he is. In front of the Spain fans there. Oh, as if there's going to be England fan mixed with the Spain fans. Come, uh, Belgium fans, sorry. Come on. That's a really good goal, though. And that is, like, a quality finish. Jamie Vardy's having a party. Yeah, I was saying about him, he came from like non-league football and just had this incredible season when Leicester ended up winning the league, which is obviously like the tail. It's just like an incredible achievement and yeah, he's still gone on and, and, and it wasn't a one season wonder, he, he's been a very good player. Oh, unlucky. Um, <laughs> just, yeah, and he's just like a guy who just used to go out like partying a lot and like didn't look after himself. He used to drink like vodka and Skittles. Like he used to put a bag of Skittles in a bottle of vodka and then like drink it. Like that. <laughs> like when you think about modern day athletes, it's not really what you think of, but you know, he stopped all that. You know, knuckled down, I guess. Got his chance at Leicester, took it, and the rest is history. Now he's going to a World Cup. Probably didn't think that was going to happen when he 
is playing for um, Fleetwood Town. It's not really what I was going for there either. Who's obviously a, always a threat. I mean, personally, they should obviously start with Christian Benteke. The seasons he's had this year, he's been on fire. Look, Eric Dyer, where's this come from? Uh, where the hell did that come from, Eric Dyer? I can't believe he managed to. I was hoping I was just going to get a throw in or something. I think he'd actually managed to. I didn't really know what to do with it once I got up that far. I don't know if you noticed that. <laughs> that would have been a bad... That's a nice tackle though. Oh, that was a good tackle. That's it. Go on, Lingard. Ah, oh, unlucky. Is that Fellaini in midfield? It looks like Fellaini in midfield. It's Fitzel though. Shit, look at the speed there. It's done me. Oh! Jesus Christ. Hit the post. Should have scored. That was a let off. Let's not forget we have to win this game to uh, keep us, keep us, keep us. Okay, calm it down. Calm it down. Let's get to half time. 1 0 up. That was not good. That's it. Oh. oh, I was hoping to just float it in, you know. It didn't really work like that. <laughs> Look at those losers with their faces painted. Okay. Um, let's play Rashford, I think. I'm actually going to take off Kane because I want to get some pace. Um. But I think I'm gonna bring on the Lana for Link on there. So I'm hoping like we're just gonna have some, some pure I'm gonna go defensive and just try and counterattack. Actually let's get that on the uh tactics counterattack. Cause I mean Vardy and Rashford that's quite that's quite some pace, you know. And let's face it, Vincent Company is not getting any younger. I'm not saying he's slow, he's not. Oh shit. Oh. Now's our chance, this is where we counter. Sterling. We got pulled back there, don't know if you saw that. Oh. so far that's it Lalana 
That's it. Great ball. Oh. Oh. Okay. That was close. I can see the fart. <laughs> what was that? Just locked him, didn't he? Look at Farty. Look at Farty. What a legend. What a legend. Look at him go. Look at him go. What an absolute legend. Sly tackles it on that guy. Manages to take it round. What, four Belgian players? Smashes it in the top left corner. Who needs Harry Kane? We've got Jamie Vardy. We're having a party. We're going to beat Belgium. We're going to win the World Cup. I can see this is how it's all going to come about. You just wait and see. We just need to play 4-4-2. Come back. <laughs> He's absolutely knackered now, though, by the way. <laughs> Look at this. Lana. Come on, Lana. Oh, lucky. Unlucky. I actually quite like the Lana down that left. I just think he's, he's done all right. <laughs> Dump me there, to be fair. That's it, Ali. That's it. No, that was not it. into to be fair oh god okay there's, there's three England players back in Kevin De Bruyne <laughs> okay we managed to stop him yeah let's bring on Henderson for Ali I think it's probably a sensible option a bit more uh, of a tackler I 
Marcus Rashford once again. The pace there. Couldn't get near him, could they? Imagine if England actually managed to do this in the World Cup. There'd be a national holiday if we actually beat Belgium 4 0 like this. I was right though, wasn't I, taking off Kane? Because I said, like, the pace and the counter attack, that's how we're going to win this game. And I was right. <laughs> I knew we weren't going to win that header though. They're just dilly dallying on the ball so much. It's giving me time to tackle them. Comprehensive win. Comprehensive win. And that's England winning the group. Belgium didn't stand a chance. Look at that. Tunisia beat Panama 1-0. Uh, so we've got Poland in the next stage. Just have a look, actually. So, Spain, Argentina. Oh, no, sorry. It's so Spain. Russia, as you would expect, Argentina beat Denmark, as you would expect, to leave a, a Spain-Argentina core final. Uruguay beat Iran, yeah, fair enough. France beat Croatia, again, fair enough. Uruguay, France there. You'd expect Brazil to beat Croatia, you'd expect us to beat Poland. So we could face Brazil in the quarters. Germany would probably beat Switzerland, and I don't know about Colombia, Belgium. Probably Belgium. Uh, but we'll see, I guess. But anyway, we will finish up there for now. Thank you so much for watching. As always, Rashford wins man of the match. Good to see. Who has got the top assist? Ali. It's interesting. Clean sheets. Uh, England apparently don't know how to do that. Anyway, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.